Gaffey, your assessment of that 90 minutes? Bits of pills to swallow, I think, in the end. We... Uh, we did well in the first half to, to dig in against a side that had the wind and had the home crowd and we had them attacking their own fans in the first half and uh, I thought on the whole we showed a, a good degree of resilience. I, I didn't think we showed enough composure in our play, went forward too early and uh, we did, didn't build our game in the way we normally do but nonetheless we got in at half time having done a, a fair job I think and in the second half we went to uh, play more of our game, we wanted to assert control and for long periods we did but we all know football if you don't take your chances and we had several of them before we eventually conceded um, if you don't take your chances then you know football can bite you and uh, I thought it was a good second half from our, from our point of view uh, a second half where we uh, asserted control and influence but uh, didn't show that uh, that killer instinct in the vital moments and we've ended up paying the price Yeah it was a cool way to concede as well with the deflection Yeah I, I mean you know, it was it was it was cruel from our point of view because Harry's adamant he was fouled on the halfway line, and that led to the overload that that created the passage of play that led to the goal. Um, referee was excellent, I thought, throughout the ninety minutes, so no complaints there. But uh, you know, that overload, that moment, little things decide big games, and uh, it was a big game, and uh, it was a, a disappointing way to to see it end. Did you feel it knocked Stefan out of you a little bit that goal? Well, I think at that at that point, you know, you you. You throw uh, everything to the wind, don't you? And uh, you know, we had a go. We we put we put extra men forward. Um, we took gambles, and uh, you know, when you do that, you either go one or you go two nil. And uh, we went two nil. Yeah, Miles Anderson came into the starting lineup and, and did very well, didn't he? It was not his really. Yeah, I think um, I think it was the type of game where you know a player like Miles, with his experience, was always going to do well. I think. Uh, Mondays after Saturdays, you have to make changes. Uh, you never know what would have happened if you keep an unchanged side. But quite often, what happens when you don't change players on a Monday, you look very, very tired. And, and you know, it's important to have that extra thrust of Liangol in the front line, Samuelson coming from behind and adding legs to midfield, and, and Miles with his experience in the back line. So, um, I was pleased with those decisions. I think they, uh, I think they worked well through the ninety. Just a word on the fans travelled over a uh, thousand today. Unbelievable! Their uh, their support um, for this team is uh, is something else. It's uh, it's a privilege to be a part of a club that um, supports its team so well. And uh, they were here in numbers. We haven't given them the result. I, th I think they'll have looked at the team and thought there's a team out there that cares. Um, a team out there that w did everything it could to to try and bring the result home. Um, it's unfortunate to lose Bozzi and. You know, they know. I think they're appreciative of the fact that there's one or two who are, you know, doing what they can for the team in positions that are not totally familiar to them, and uh, they're they're very supportive of that and uh, giving the boys all the encouragement.